I got the info, we gotta slide, he thinks she's sweet, he gotta die. I got the info, we gotta slide, he thinks she's sweet, he gotta die, he gotta die, he won't make it. Soul on the line, I gotta take it. Brand new bag, I gotta take it. It could be broke, I had to take it. I got niggas that's still in the trout, whipping up pot. Deshaun Robertson was born August 1st, 2000 in San Bernardino, California. Growing up, things were not easy for him and his family. His mom was raising all five siblings alone, while his dad was locked away for reasons he didn't want to discuss. He described his childhood as having to grow up faster than the other kids his age. He spent the first 10 years of his life in Cali, before he and his family moved to Dallas, Texas. With his dad out of the picture, Deshaun mostly looked to his older brother for guidance. This created an even more special bond between the two, and his brother would teach him everything he knew. The way he moved and how he earned money on his own were some of the things his brother taught him. He always said he was basically the one who raised him. While adjusting to the new environment in Dallas, Deshaun became more and more comfortable hanging out outside on the block. At the time he wasn't doing anything bad, just what he called petty little shit. During the summers, his mom would send him back to California to stay with relatives. This gave him a unique blend of both Southern and West Coast cultures. As he grew older into his teens, he started to associate himself with the rolling 60s Crips. Although the gang is mostly known for originating out in California, they would spread all across the country, and now the rolling 60s can be found all across the United States. The neighborhood in Dallas Deshaun was from was referred to as the Woods. It was here that he started selling weed as a way to bring some type of income in, and he admits he used to rip people off, selling .7 or even .6 bags just to make a profit. Making a little money made him feel more like a man, feeling like he could provide for himself. Although at the time this seemed great, everything was about to change. When he was only 15, he got the news that his older brother had been gunned down and he didn't make it. Being one of the most influential people in his life, this obviously hit hard. But he always remembered the talks that he and his brother used to have. And he used to tell him, no matter what happens, make sure you go get your money. With his brother gone and his father still locked away, he felt that it was up to him to go out and provide for his family. Getting in the streets became more of a priority than things like school. It never got safer though, and he recalls being shot at multiple times. While in high school, he would get his nickname Loaded from his friends after showing up to practice high all the time. Eventually, this evolved to Little Loaded. When he wasn't on the block, he enjoyed playing sports like basketball. Eventually, the path he was headed down led him to dropping out of school altogether. Not knowing exactly where his life was headed, he was at a crossroad and just rolling with the punches. One day he was outside and things quickly escalated as shots began to ring off at him. His natural reaction was to move his hand in front of his face. A bullet would strike his hand and get stuck. Not wanting to go to the authorities or a hospital, he instead went to a friend's mom who he called the Hood Doctor. She patched him up and saved him a trip to the doctor, but this came with a price. This traumatized him and he realized he needed to move smarter and not get caught lacking like that again. This wasn't enough to keep him out of the streets, but it was enough for him to begin plotting a way out. Music was something his friends had always told him he should pursue, but he never actually took it serious until he started going to studios in early 2019. He started recording a few songs and the reaction he got from the people around him were all positive. It clearly came natural to him. With only a few months of rapping, he dropped his first official song and music video on YouTube, B.O.S. B.O.S. gathered a few hundred plays over the next few weeks, which may not seem like a lot to most people. But if you ask any artist, they will typically tell you this is a great feeling, especially for your first song. A few hundred plays and the whole neighborhood playing his song was enough for him to start working on a second one. He went to YouTube and started pulling up beats when he ran across one titled, In Ali Choppa Type Beat. Almost immediately, he freestyled the song before getting in the booth and recording it in just two takes. Once again, everyone he showed it to was fucking with it, and they all told him to shoot a video to it. He knew this song was special, and if he found a way to market it, it would blow. He didn't really know how to go about marketing his song, so he just filmed the video and got ready to upload it. When it was finally ready, the cameraman's computer broke and it delayed the upload process by a few more weeks. At the time, this was frustrating, but this would actually become the most impactful event that changed his life forever. Next we got Lil Loaded Lock Baby. One view, 54 minutes ago. 
On July 26, 2019, after technical difficulties, they managed to successfully upload the video. The song was titled Block Baby, and it only received one view in the first 54 minutes it was uploaded. On the same night the music video was uploaded, a popular YouTuber by the name of Tommy Craze was filming for a video series he was doing. The series consisted of him reacting to music videos with little or no views, and it just so happened Lil Loaded's Block Baby was uploaded at the same time. Tommy Craze's reaction helped bring over 100,000 views to Block Baby overnight. The next morning, labels and management were calling his phone trying to sign a deal with him. Although the song blew up in a very unconventional way, it did not change the fact that Lil Loaded's talent was obvious. Block Baby was only his second song ever, and he had only been rapping for a few months. This actually put a lot of pressure on him as the song grew bigger and bigger because people wanted to see if he would end up being a one-hit wonder. As he began touring and doing shows, his name started to pop up more and more. He dropped a few more songs that would all perform well, but in October of 2019, his music video for Gang Unit was released. Gang Unit outperformed anything he had dropped before, and proved that he had something hip-hop might have been missing. His time spent in Cali and Texas had given him a unique style that was making his music start to stand out. Throughout 2019 and 2020, Lil Loaded proved he had what it took to stay relevant in music today. He continued to drop two successful mixtapes as well as his first album, Demon in Blue, which were all received well by fans and fellow rappers. Collabing with artists like King Von, Poo Shiesty, Polo G, and NLE Choppa, he was looking like he had a place in hip hop for years to come. Unfortunately, as quickly as good things were happening for him, they came to a halt in October of 2020. Police had responded to a call in the afternoon about a shooting in the Woods neighborhood of Dallas. According to the report, Loaded was outside of his friend Khalil Walker's home when two gunshots went off. Khalil's little sister who was inside the home heard the gunshots and ran outside. She saw Loaded and another friend standing over Khalil's wounded body. While waiting for an ambulance, she reports taking Loaded's phone and seeing a video of him shooting her brother. They all rushed Khalil to Charlton Medical Center, where he passed away just a few hours later from his wounds. This event sparked a lot of questions about what exactly happened. What we do know is that he admits to shooting his friend, but he assures it was just an accident during the shooting of a music video. 15 days later an arrest warrant was released and Lil Loaded turned himself into authorities, where he was held on a $500,000 bond. After spending over a month behind bars, he was released until his trial due to obligations to his record label. Although it was an accident, he now had to live with the guilt of taking his own friend's life, as well as dealing with the murder charge he now faced. On the outside he may have seemed like he was okay, but it's no doubt that he was suffering inside. This obviously wasn't the first traumatic event to happen in his life, but it undoubtedly affected him differently, especially since he knew what it was like to lose his brother just a few years before. He continued to release music. Songs like Emotional Killer and Hard Times gave an insight to how he was really feeling inside, but fans may have overlooked this at the time of their release. On March 5, 2021, he was indicted for manslaughter for the shooting of his friend Khalil, who was also known as Savage Boosie. Just two weeks later, his breakthrough song Block Baby would go certified gold. I always pride myself on being humble. Cause when, a, when, when a nigga lose his humility, he lose everything. A nigga lose track of the whole bigger picture, they lose track of the goal. May 31st was Deshaun's last day with us after being found by a relative with self-inflicted gunshot wounds. At first, some people believed he hurt himself due to a recent breakup with his longtime girlfriend. Others believed it was due to beef with his friends over the death of Khalil, where some of them claimed the shooting wasn't an accident. Although there are a few theories as to why he would have wanted to hurt himself, the truth is only he himself would have the right to speak on that. It's clear he had some serious pain that he was struggling to deal with. The art that he left behind is timeless, and it will live on without him. Just stay true to yourself and be yourself at all times. No matter how high or low you get in life, you got a million days. Like, you got so many days. You could all, Don't get me wrong, you could, you could always not see the next day, but you got so many days that, that to look forward to.